Hey, my beautiful Geminis, happy Mother's Day to all that are celebrating. It's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia, here to do a love relationship reading for singles. So Gemini, this is love versus lust for May 2022. So you may be dating or you may have a crush on somebody. So we're going to look at, is this person really in love with you or is it just lust? So they come around whenever they feel like a booty call and put on the, the charm and you think, well, they're into me. Or is it someone that's going to listen to every um, everything that you want to talk about? who's got your back, who's there for you no matter what time of the morning and want to share their life with you. So we've got the heart as love and the first card is the crossroads. Okay, so you could be facing a decision or this could mean that you've got many romantic options here, Gemini. So it could be with a Libra person. Um that you're interested in maybe one standing out more than the other <coughs> excuse me um you know you could be choosing what you're most passionate about with this per with one particular person now this is uh about female lovers so it could be a same-sex relationship or if you're male out there it's definitely you're dating um many many uh females here and it's time to make a decision perhaps now we've got definitely a woman. Now this person's very feminine energy, uh, feminine characteristics, um, does the female things, you know, in touch with her feminine side. So this is one particular person that you're being drawn to. Now with the lust, I've chosen the whip here. And the first card is the fish. So maybe this person's hard to... Uh, get hold of at times they could be a Gemini also um, you know this person may be hard working or maybe um, you know they're hard to get hold of because they're an entrepreneur and they're very business minded but this person may be hard work for you and you're choosing them I'm feeling um, that you know they just go with the flow in many aspects and you've got the book also so the books about secrets secret knowledge they could have a hidden sexuality here so maybe they're into other women so we'll see now what does this person look like okay got the writer here so the writer is uh, someone that's young or they're young looking for their age they're very well dressed into sports they could be um you know, they're very good looking and elegant, but they love to socialise this person. They're very quick at what they do. And so we do have uh, Pisces also in the reading. So this person could have Libra, Gemini or Pisces in their chart. <coughs> Excuse me. It's very cold here in Oz. Now, maybe this woman's um, decision... She may not be wanting to commit to you, Gemini, and she wants to just freelance with other people, be a free agent. This person doesn't want to have a commitment. Okay, so maybe this person has a secret and that's why they're not committing to you. Now, from the Romance Angel deck, I have children. So maybe this person's got children in their life and that's why they're not wanting the commitment. Um, so maybe this is affecting why they don't want to commit to you. Now under the deck we have the mountain. So the mountains, obstacles and delays. So this could be why there's obstacles in this relationship. You know, there's an unexpected uh, turn of events here, um, twist of fate, and maybe you're going to find out about these children, which is going to cause a little bit of stress and anxiety for you. So, you know, you, you're definitely dealing with a Libra, Gemini or Pisces here. Now, I've chosen a card from the Awakened Dreamer deck. And it's no bees in the bonnet. Okay, so nothing can stand between you and your peace. And like I said, it's causing anxiety here. You know, and unless you let this uh, um, 
stress into your life. Nothing's going to stand in your way. Nothing's worth lowering your vibration and losing your peace for. Let the bees of upset fly on by. Adopt a no bees in my bonnet attitude or policy and revel in the power of your unshakable serenity. Okay, so this person, if if they're in your life or in and out of your life, um, it's definitely not for you. Um, they they want to be a free agent. They've got children, or they've got other commitments elsewhere, and you don't need the stress in your life here, Gemini. So I'm not going to leave it at that. I'm going to pull some more Lenormand cards and see definitely what is coming in for you. It's just too many cards. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I've got a beautiful man coming in your life uh, that's going to bring a lot of serenity and peace. Very sensual type of person, very experienced, especially in the sex department. Um, and he's a family man. So maybe this is why you need to let this go with the other person. This uh, definitely is um, someone who has a lot of uh, sexual chemistry with you. And they're bringing peace into your life. So you do have your options here, Gemini. If you're choosing, um, or maybe this is you trying to find serenity and that peace. Let me just pull a card from the Romance of Angel cards again and see what's coming out right. That flipped. Okay. So you've definitely got a past life relationship, okay? You've known each other before. So this is why uh, you need to let go of this other person. So that's beautiful. Love and blessings to you. Bye for now.